Uganda is known as the Pearl of Africa. It lies astride the equator and enjoys a unique location at the heart of sub-Saharan Africa within the East African region. Liberalization of the economy and implementation of other deliberate government policies has created a very favorable investment environment. We are one-stop shop here at the Uganda Investment Authority and uh, we welcome investors. We will provide you with the information you need, uh, make it easy to license, uh, make it easy to get work permits. Uh, we do sit with the tax body here who are able to explain the incentives and assist with registering and licensing for value-added tax and for the TIN number. Growth in several sectors like transport, communications, and banking has enabled agriculture, which was once entirely subsistence, to grow to unprecedented levels. With guaranteed supply of fresh water from Lake Victoria, abundant rainfall evenly spreads in two seasons, cheap labor, and a favorable climate, Uganda is uniquely gifted for the production of quality flowers, which are already tilting the export market. The industry is already showing its potential as a key export earner with far-reaching economic and social benefits for the country. The flower sector is the second leading non-traditional export and the seventh largest export earner in Uganda, growing at the rate of 14%, higher than that of the overall economy, which is at 5%. Three major uh, chrysanthemum producers or breeders are here in Uganda. Uh, there are two other competitors from uh, us, is Wagagai and Royal Vasantan. And from Uganda, we supply 80% of the world market of chrysanthemums are coming from Uganda. They are produced in Uganda. Uganda is one of the best country in the world for producing quality cuttings because of its suitable weather. To better take advantage of the opportunities that abound in the floriculture sector, over 20 flower growers in the country have come together under Uganda Flower Exporters Association, UFAIR, a lobbying and advocacy body. Uganda Flower Exporters Association uh, brings together growers and exporters uh, of flowers uh, in Uganda. Uh, our main market is the European Union currently have 18 growers, uh, 18 flower farms uh, that grow flowers mainly for export. In the fair, my role is to prepare farms for certification or to guide them in adopting the standards that they choose to go for and also to organize training programs for the farms. We provide training to employees on the flower farm starting from the owners themselves, middle management, and then the rest of the employees are on the farm. The main products of the Ugandan flower industry are the sweetheart roses and cuttings. The different Ufair members grow different varieties of flowers using different means and processes. Wagagai is a company that is um, producing cuttings for two clients. It's a bacon camp group from Holland and one is Selecta Clem from Germany and we yeah, facilitate for them to produce their cuttings on our farm. We employ here about 1700 people whereby of about 70 percent of them are women. Uh, South Africa is a very big market for us. Japan we send to Malaysia, Vietnam, America. There are quite a, a number of countries but Europe is, is number one and South Africa is number two. To make the high standards set by the export market, a lot of time and effort is put into the process to ensure quality of the product once it gets to the customer. Ugandan flowers are sweethearts and super sweethearts, which is 3 to 3.5 centimeter head size. That is a major demand in European markets. So that is advantage we can produce the maximum flowers throughout the year with quality and quantity. One of the important services that, uh, that UFIA has, uh, has delivered uh, to, the, uh, to the industry is to prepare them to meet the very high import standards uh, that are asked by the European uh, uh, Union. Uh, it is very competitive, uh, highly competitive business to export uh, uh, to Europe. We also undertake uh, market information. We look for market information and share this information uh, with the flower farms. Participate, encourage them 
to participate in international trade fairs, capture uh, statistics in terms of the volume that is grown during the year and the revenue that comes out of the volume. Every year we are audited to see if we are still doing that what European uh, guidelines expect from us and for us it's very important for our clients because our clients know when you are certified they know that you are working according to these guidelines. Uh, a larger number of flowers have been uh, MPS GAP certified because of the, uh, the intervention of MPS uh, GAP uh, and we as the embassy we're, we're happy to have been able to support uh, UFIA in that, uh, in that area. I do for them pre-audits, preparing them for audits then finally, MPS finds us auditors who come to audit and see whether they are really following the protocol. After the flowers leave the farm, they are taken to Fresh Handling Limited, which is responsible for quality assurance, storage and export preparation. Fresh Handling was first founded in 1999. Uh, the idea behind it was rather than for each uh, farmer to individually uh, negotiate his own rates with the airlines, that by owning a company that could take all the produce, negotiate with the airlines best rates for, for the freight, and the other important factor is the company is a not-for-profit organisation. It is a service provider for its owners. The flower industry is involved in improving the lives of the communities, running an improved road network, accessing the locals to their health unit facilities, improving on the infrastructure of the community schools, renting some houses for the locals, and are currently supporting sensitization efforts of HIV AIDS, first aid, malaria control and firefighting in the communities. Approximately $20 million every year is directed back into the economy in form of wages, transport fees, packaging, input purchases, taxes, road development and maintenance, and improving the welfare of workers. The first vision and strategy for the next two years is to see the expansion of the industry from the present 200 hectares, which are mainly around the Lakeshore region, to 400 hectares by attracting investors to develop new farms, expand existing farms, and to move to cooler highland areas in the eastern and western Uganda. Of course, the big challenge uh, is to get uh, large enough volumes uh, uh, of flowers from, uh, from Uganda. Uh, and it, the, the, current, uh, the current flower growers, um, they uh, will struggle to penetrate uh, the Dutch market as long as they have uh, relatively uh, small volumes. And with small volumes, it's more difficult to compete with the likes of Kenya and Ethiopia, uh, where the flower industry is bigger and more, uh, more robust. Uh, we are a major exporter of cuttings, chrysanthemum cuttings, and looking at exporting actual chrysanthemums. Uh, they, they grow very well in our climate. We have opportunities for uh, value addition in that uh, bouquets could go straight from here onto the supermarket shelves. Some of the flower farms in Uganda are conducting production trials to grow the Protea flower. You can then help them, you know, to, to, to lease equipment, especially in agriculture, to access business finance from the banks, to access markets and market information when they're in a group than when they are scattered. So that is one of the responsibilities. Uh, but we advocate on behalf of these associations. I wish to encourage uh, potential investors in this sector to actually come and look at Uganda. Land is available. Land in Uganda belongs to the people, but uh, a lot of land, I think we only use about 20% of arable land in Uganda. The other mandate that we have is to train, to build the capacities of these associations, to build the capacities, to be able to enhance the production, to be able to improve productivity. So we talk about skills development, you know, to, to skill the labor that, that is out there so that they are more relevant to those that are using, are using this human resource, the enterprises, the companies, the associations. Uganda's favorable weather, availability of water, affordable labor 
and training opportunities like the Floriculture Diploma at Mountains of the Moon University have helped the industry flourish. While the sector is already vibrant, there are even more opportunities on the horizon. Uganda's flowers have become the first choice for discerning buyers the world over. And because of this, there has never been a better opportunity for investment in Uganda. Investors who wish to invest in Uganda and the wider East African region are encouraged. The East African Federation provides advantages of an economic integration of a common market with zero tariffs, free movement of people and exemption on particular farm items.